I'm the hottest round. I told your mother, y'all can't stop me now. Listen to me now. I'm lasting 20 rounds. And if you want me, then come on, get me now. Hey everyone, it's me, Psychedelic Babe, and welcome back to my channel. Now, in today's video, I am going to be reviewing the JBL Combi Set Test Marine Test Kit. Now, this test kit is the complete kit that is going to enable yourself to easily, accurately test the most significant water parameters in your marine tank. Now, this test kit is so easy to use, so if you're new to the saltwater hobby and you're looking for a test kit that will give you good, clear, accurate results, stop what you're doing and let's go through this test kit together and let's see what it's got to offer and find out why testing your water parameters in your marine tank is so very, very important. Now, having set up your marine aquarium, one of the first things you're going to need to do is test your water parameters. Now, this is very important at this stage and the first few weeks of your cycle. So make sure that you familiarise yourself with your test kit and all of its contents. Once you've done this, you will find this test kit so much easier to use. Now, in the first few weeks, you're going to be performing these tests on a daily basis to start with. And then eventually you're going to be working your way up to weekly tests. So please, please do make sure that you familiarise yourself with everything so that you know how to use everything properly. And also learn how to read the results and what to do with the results once you've recorded them. Now, I say all this because these tests that you are about to perform are so vital at this stage in your aquarium. You're going to be relying on these test results to find out how well your aquarium is developing and also it's the best way of finding out when your water is in fact ready for the fish that you're going to be introducing into it. So without further ado, let's take a look at the JBL Combi Set Test Marine Test Kit. Right, now before we take a look inside the test kit, we're going to focus a little bit on the case itself. Now this is a moisture resistant case, it's been designed this way because some of the contents inside this case need to be kept dry at all times. So please do make sure that you look after this case and keep it in a cool, dry, safe place. Keep it out of direct sunlight and also at a safe height away from children. Now, all the bottles inside this test kit are fully childproof, but there are some powders that can be easily opened. So this being said, please do keep it in a safe place. If, however, by chance, any small children do get their hands on any of the contents, please do seek medical attention immediately. And make sure you take this test kit and all its contents with you so the doctors and hospital staff know what it is that they are dealing with. So, without further ado, let's take a look inside the JBL Combiset Test Marine Test Kit. Now, as we open this up, We've got plenty of goodies in here, honestly. Now, we have got the JBL Test Lab booklet. Now, this booklet tells you everything that you need to know about everything. And this comes in 15 different languages. So there's no excuse not to sit back and enjoy a good book. Also, you get a chart. Now, on this chart, you get to record all your test results. Now, you're going to find this extremely handy because it's always good to make a note of everything that you're testing because it will give you a good indication of why things are changing, when they're changing, and, yeah, it's always good to record everything. Also in this test kit, we get this. Now, this is the JBL Colour Tester Chart. Now, I will explain this a little bit more detail in a minute when we go through a few of the tests. It might look slightly complicated, but it's not. Trust me, this is the easiest test kit I have used. Now, th what I like about this colour chart is it's made out of laminate paper. So because you're going to be adding water to most of these pages, nothing leaks, nothing gets spilt, and nothing smudges. So you know once you've finished with this and you give it a quick wipe down, it's going to be in the same condition it is when you started with it. So that's always a plus. Now, you didn't get the pen, the pen's actually mine, but that is the only thing that this test kit does not include, and that is a pen. So, always make sure you've got your pen handy. So, what have we got inside? Let's take a look. Now, the JBL test kit consists of six different tests. 
The first test is for your pneumonia. The second test is for your pH. The third is your nitrite. The fourth is your nitrate. The fifth is your KH. And the sixth test is for your phosphates. Now, each one of these tests is so easy to use. And in my opinion, he's very accurate. So each of these tests that you perform, they're going to add colour to the water, which you'll then compare on the easy to read colour chart, which I've just shown you. So without further ado, let's find out how we use the JBL test kit. Now, with most of these tests, a reagent is going to be added to change the colour of the water. Now, all JBL tests have got a special feature. Now, this special feature makes the reading so much easier and very, very accurate. Now, instead of only comparing the colour of the water to the colour that's on the colour scale, we've got a second measuring vial. Now, this is going to be filled with aquarium water. So, when it's put on the colour chart, this water then appears to have optically changed its colour. Now, this makes it easier to compare. It's very accurate with the watercolour of the other measuring glass. So, this system of comparison is called the comparator system. And it compensates natural water discoloration. So, that's very, very handy. And it makes testing a lot easier. Now, I'm not actually going to perform any tests today. Because I'm just reviewing this product and I'm going to be giving you a few little hints and tips along the way. So we're just going to move the test kit out of the way a second. And we're going to concentrate on this. Now this is a bowl of water, as you know. Now this isn't just any bowl of water. This is a bowl of RODI water. Now this is really, really important. Not only with this test kit, but with any test kit that you are using. Now, the reason why I use a bowl of RODI water is because when you are asked to rinse your water vial before you fill it up with your tank water to test it, they ask you to rinse this in clean water. Now, if I clean this in tap water, it's going to become contaminated with tap water. So in order for this test kit to work properly and accurately, I will always rinse these in a bowl of pure clean RODI water that way when I use this for my testing I know I'm going to get a 100% accurate reading so good little tip to have always have a bowl of RODI water handy when you're consulting and doing any test kits so with that in mind let's move on and let's go through each of the different tests that are in the test kit and let's find out what they do and why we do it. Okay, so the first one we're going to look at now is RKH. Now, RKH is a quick test and it's determining the carbonous hardness of the acid, which is binding capacity of our water. Now, this is really easy to do. First thing we need to do is we need to get our measuring vial. Now, like I said before, give this a good rinse in your RODI water. And then simply just take your oral syringe, fill this with five mils of water from your aquarium and put it into this vial. Now make sure that it's filled to the five mil mark. That's really important that you do this. Then you take your KH and you give it a really good shake. And then you simply add one drop into your vial and you give it a shake. And you keep on doing this one drop at a time until it changes colour. Now this vial should change colour, it should go from a blue to like an orangey, yellowy colour. Now if you're not sure on the colour that this should be changing to, then simply refer to your JBL chart at the back and it will show you that it will be blue to start off with and it should go to about this colour. Now make sure you count these drops because it's really important that you do. If you don't count the drops, then you're going to have to do the test again. Now, once you've counted your drops, you refer back to your sheet and you'd write them down. And as you can see, it should be between seven and 10. Now, the first time I conducted the test, I got nine when the tank was first set up and then it was six. So you should be between seven and 10 each time that you do this. Once you've done this, throw this away 
and give it a good rinse in your RODI water. Next, we're going to be testing for our pH. Now, this one is done slightly different. The pH test is done using the two water vials. So again, make sure you give these a rinse in RODI water before you use them. Also in this test, we're going to be using the comparator, the block. So what we need to do first is we need to go to our comparator chart and we need to find our pH test. So we go through it until we find our pH and there it is. This is our pH test. So what we're going to do is in this one, when I said it's slightly different, we're going to be using both of these vials. Now what you do is you fill both of these vials up with water out of your aquarium. Now make sure you only put five mils in each of these vials and then place them very neatly into your comparator block, like so. Okay, now you've got tank water in one and you've got tank water in two. Now in number two, only in number two, you're gonna add three drops of your pH only into this one do not add any into this one at all so once you've added your three drops into this replace the lid give it a shake place it back in the comparator block then we can fare back to our chart now on this chart you'll see that we've got all these colors and it tells you at the top where your ph should be where it shouldn't be it's dangerous and where it's okay so we've got these two vials now this one is your tank water. Now this one goes like this. Now when you look through that tank water one and then you look through your one, it's got to look the same colour. Now this is why the special feature has been added to this because this makes this so much easier. Now as you slide it along, you will see which colour suits best. Now make sure you do this in good light as well, it does help but it is very accurate. Now, once you've done that, again, make sure you note down on your little thing, your little chart, on what your pH was. And again, make sure when you remove these, you can leave the tap water one, because that's fine. You're gonna be using that again in a minute. It's not a problem with it. Take the one you've just used, empty it, and give it a wash in our ODI water. Replace it back in, and you're ready to use it for your next test. Okay, so the next one we're going to be testing is our ammonia. And this is the NH4. Now, we've got three bottles for this. Now, the reason why we've got three is because, again, you're going to leave your tank water in this one. You're not going to add anything to this one at all. In the other vial, you're going to add four drops of this bottle one. You're going to give it a shake. Then you're going to add four drops of bottle two, give it another shake. Then in the third bottle, you're going to add five drops and you're going to give it a shake. Then you're going to leave it and you're going to leave that now for 15 minutes. And while you're doing that, you get your comparator chart. And again, if you're a little bit unsure of how to do it, it tells you everything on the back of the chart. So it's super, super easy to do. And then you just turn the page and there are your readings. And it tells you at the top where you should be and where you shouldn't be. So if you get this and your readings here, then you know that your waters are fine. So yeah, you can see now, can't you, why this is just so super easy to use. And again, after your 15 minutes are up, just empty them and give them a rinse in our ODI water. Now, the next one is your NO2. Now, this is for your nitrite. Now, again, this is so super easy. You just do the same principle. You fill them both up with ta tank water, up to the 5 mils. And then you add 5 drops of Regent 1 into just one of them, followed by 5 drops of Regent 2. Now you shake these really, really well and then you wait until the colouring develops. Now this usually takes about three minutes to do the nitrite test and it is so super easy. Again, you just go to your chart 
and you take a look. It takes about three minutes and then you just turn the page and you just compare it with these. And again, it, look, it's so easy. This is where you want it to be. This is okay. This is dangerous. Red's dangerous. You don't ever want to be in the red. So you can see just again, just how easy this is. Okay, so the next test that we're going to do is the nitrate. Now, this is completely different. This is this bottle, and it's also this powder. Now, again, you're going to rinse your vials. You're going to add them up with five mils of tank water. And then what you're going to do is, in one of them, you're going to add two large measuring spoonfuls, which is this end, to your bottle. You're going to seal it and then you're going to shake it. How you have to shake this vigorously for at least one minute. Now, this powder will not dissolve completely. For a better colour comparison, you need to hold the test jar at an angle until the remaining powder collects on the side. Now, make sure that you let this sit for 10 minutes. Now, if the mixture is not shaken for long enough or vigorously enough, your test results are going to be really low. Now, to check what your test results need to be for this test, see how it tells you here how you, you put two large spoonfuls in, then you put your drops in, and then you leave it for one, shake it for one minute, and then you leave it for 10 minutes, and then you look at your comparison. Now, this is where they should be. Anywhere between here and, say, here. Anything over here, then you're going to start running into problems. So that's how you do the nitrate. Okay, so the last test that we're going to conduct today is our PO4 sensitive. Now, this is for our phosphates. We're going to be using this, and we're also going to be using the powder. Now, what you need to do with this, as before, you need to give this a rinse in your RODI water. Fill both vials up with five mils of water out of your tank. And then you need to get your measuring spoon. Now, you'll be using the smaller side this time. And we're going to add one of these to one of the jars. So we're going to take one of these small, these, and we're going to add it to one of these of water. Now, we're going to close the lid and we're going to shake this. And I mean, we're going to shake it really well until all that powder's dissolved. Then we're going to take this and we're going to add 10 drops to this reagent and we're going to give it another good shake and then we're going to leave it for 10 minutes. Now, as I've said in all the other tests, please make sure that you shake all these properly and also make sure that you leave them for the time that's specified. If you're unsure about any of the tests or if you've lost your booklet on how to do any of them, it does tell you on all of them how to do it. As you can see for our phosphates, rinse both of them, you fill them with five mils of tank water, you add one small drop, you shake it, you add ten drops of that, you leave it for ten minutes and then you add it to the comparator block. You simply just turn it over and take a look at which one it should be. So we know that it should be in this colour. If it's anything over this colour, then you know you need to start doing something inside your tank. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the JBL Marine Test Kit. Now, I've been using this for the last six months, and I have to say, I am really, really pleased with all the results that I get from it. Now, I have compared it with a few other unnamed test kits that I have, and I have to say, I keep coming back to this one. Not just for the fact that I'm sponsored by JBL, but because I really enjoy using it. It's so super easy to use. The comparator block makes everything so much easier. It's really easy to check the colours, and yeah, it is. It's just really, really good. So if anybody out there is looking for a test kit that is reliable, that is honest, and easy to use then I highly suggest that you take a look at the link in the description box below and you go and check out the JBL website. On their website, you will find this test kit 
and you'll also be pleased to know that all these bottles can be sold individually so once you've run out of one of them because you may use it a bit more than the other for example the phosphate you use 10 drops of that so you'll probably find that you might run out of that before any of the others so they sell all these separately on their website they're really cheap and as you've just seen they are really super easy to use and everything is easily compact inside this fantastic case and you really couldn't ask for more so there you have it ladies and gentlemen there is my review on the jbl combi set test marine kit i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel and also make sure you hit that notification bell because that will let you know when i've got more videos on the way so from me psychedelic babe and jbl have yourselves a wonderful evening make sure you check out all the links in the description box below like this video, share this video, and most of all, remember, I love you all. Thanks for watching. Bye.